Hi, in this video I will show you how to make a very simple thermoacoustic engine coupled with a linear electric generator. Now the original idea of this engine is from another YouTube video. I have done some changes in that design. Um, unfortunately, I could not find the link of that video, but if I find it, I'll put it in the description. Okay, so the device that we are going to make consists of two parts. One of them is engine, one of them is the electric generator. For the engine, you need a tin can. So the size of this tin can is diameter is 8.5 millimeter and height is 11.3 millimeter. We need an aluminum can, some rice, super glue, some candle, and a fine steel bowl. For the generator, I had a wall adapter, so I open it. Inside it, there is a transformer. I open the transformer. There are some core material. I kept them for future projects. And there are two windings inside it, high voltage winding, low voltage winding. This is the 230 volts. And this one, depending on the adapter, 12 volts, 15 volts, whatever. You take the winding that is connected to 230 volts, and in this case, I directly connected an LED across the terminal of it. I could connect a full bridge rectifier and a current limiting resistor, but I decided to skip them. Okay, so in order to produce electricity, we need a neodymium magnet. Uh, this one is 2 cm diameter, 1 cm thickness. So basically, the engine produces linear motion, and we can see that this one can generate electricity. Okay, so now let us see how to make the engine. Okay, so in the first step, I'm going to remove the bottom of this aluminum can. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm going to cut the aluminum can so that we have approximately one centimeter, one and a half centimeter from this side. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm also going to remove the cover of this uh, tin can. And also we have to get rid of all of these. All right, so the aluminum part from the aluminum can is ready. The tin can is also ready. I cleaned it. Um, now I'm going to create a very tiny hole on the side of this tin can, maybe three centimeter from the top side. So the diameter of this drill bit is one millimeter. That is sufficient. Okay, so here we have the hole. Okay, so the aluminum part will go inside this tin can. It should be in that direction. And then we are going to cut some steel bolt. Maybe this much is okay. So this is the steel wall. I'm going to spread it a bit. So that it becomes bulkier. And then do it like this. Before I put this one inside, we are going to add a bit of water into this. Maybe half a millimeter uh, on the surface of this should be water. Okay, so I have added some water into this and now I can put the steel wool inside this. The reason that I made the aluminium part is because I don't want this steel wool to touch the water because otherwise it will rust very quickly. So in the original design, the gentleman did not have that aluminium piece. So that is my addition. Also in the original design, he did not have this hole on the side. I will show you why the, the hole is necessary. Okay, so now the steel wool goes inside, it's inside, and then we have to add the rice on top of it. So this is the cheapest rice that I could find, one euro per kilo. And then we add some rice on it. Okay, so now this is basically what we have. All right, so now I'm going to add the top membrane. Before that, I put a piece of tape on top of the hole that we created on the side of the can. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this balloon. And then I'm going to place it on 
down here. This is a bit difficult. Maybe this one should be a bit lower. So make sure that the center of the balloon is on the center of the can. Okay, so now we are going to attach the neodymium magnet in the center of the balloon. Be careful because the neodymium magnet can attract this can. So I will use super glue to attach them. Okay, we have to wait for it to dry. All right, so now the engine is ready. I'm going to turn on the candles. And we are going to hold this on top of the candles. So we have to wait until water is evaporated. Meanwhile, we have to release the pressure by removing this tape so that the extra pressure can exit from that hole. In the original video, the gentleman created some hole on the top membrane, but that one actually weakened the membrane, so I decided to put the hole here. And also in the original video, he didn't make a generator. So he just put a knot here to show the performance of the engine. You have to be a bit patient until the water is evaporated. So we can see that we can produce a bit of electricity, very little. So now you can see that the production is really good. <laughs> this is fantastic. Of course, gradually this gets hot and you cannot hold your hand on this. Okay, so that's basically the thermoacoustic engine that I promised. Alright, so I'm going to make some slow motion video from the operation of the engine. So in this case, I decided to make a new membrane with a knot on top of it, because this knot does not want to be attracted to the wall of this. When we have neodymium magnet, eventually uh, the magnet will be attracted to the wall and the membrane will collapse. So I changed it with this just to demonstrate the performance of the engine. So this is how the engine operates because it oscillates very fast you cannot clearly see it now i'm going to take a slow motion video and then we can understand the oscillation frequency this is crazy Beautiful. All right, so this is the end of this video. I hope that you like it. 
बाय